What's going on? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with a quick video on how to make one of these beautiful charts um, using GG Animate. You might have seen these videos uh, on my channel the last couple days. Kind of been obsessed with these things. Uh, it's the new ish tech um, in, in R. So we're going to teach you how to do this. It's built on top of uh, GG Plot. So if you don't have an in depth knowledge, you, you'll be fine. We'll, we'll go through it here. Uh, but also, I have more in-depth videos on ggplot that you can watch if you would like. And if you like this video, make sure to like it and, uh, and subscribe for the best R content on YouTube. <laughs> All right, uh, let's jump into it. So uh, we're going to need these, these packages. We're going to build it from the, the ground up here. <coughs> uh, the, the data that we're going to use is a time series uh, data set. And so we need this to convert it to a tibble, which is what, what we're going to use for our uh, our data. We need the dplyr or dplyr library, ggplot, zoo to deal with some of our dates. Uh, this data sets is going to be where we get our data from. And then of course, gganimate is going to actually make this graph. So let's clear that out of the way and get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the air passengers uh, data, data set and uh, let's see error passengers and we're gonna we're gonna save this DF because who wants to type air passengers all day not me now if we look at DF this is actually a time series uh, data frame and so uh, it's not actually a data frame uh, it's it's like a, a long line of of, uh, of numbers and so we, we can't use that in our uh, our animate so what we're going to do we're going to say into df we're going to put tk tibble df and this turns a time series into a tibble and again that comes from the time tk uh, library up there and now if we look uh, we have the index which is a year month variable uh, so january 1949 <clears throat> and then the value so this is how many air passengers did whoever have in 1949 so they had 112 air passengers. And we're going to see how this increases over time. I think it went out to 1960, I think it was. So it's like 12, 12 years of data. All right. So we now have our data into a data frame. Uh, however, when we actually put this into the uh, GG animate, it's going to want uh, an actual date, like an as.date variable. And so that's, that's not quite going to work there. So we need to uh, change that. And so how we will do that is say df transform df date is equal to zoo as dot date index frac equals zero. And so what this does is it transforms our df data frame and the variable that it's transforming is it's going to create a new variable called date and date is going to be equal to um, we're going to use the zoo package because that's what this year month comes from. So zoo is equal to as.date um, index and then our fraction or our frac is equal to zero. And so what this does is turns it into a date, takes this uh, January 1949 and then it adds a uh, one to it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but we'll uh, uh, we'll find that. Um, and it could not find trans from because that is not a function. <laughs> so we'll do transform. All right, so now we have a new variable here. This is just unacceptable to look at. So we're gonna, we're gonna turn this into a tibble. And this is, this is much better to look at. <laughs> so we have our, our index, which is our year month variable. We have our value, which is our number of flyers, right, for that uh, specific month. And we now have a date variable, which is actually formatted as a date, which is what uh, GG Animate wants to use. All right. So, like I said, this is built on GG Plot. So we're first going to make uh, just a GG Plot, and then we'll we'll add the animation to it. So we'll say DF. We're going to pipe that. So percent uh, greater than percent uh, pipes it into a a uh, GG Plot. Uh, function, we'll say AES, X is going to be equal to our date, 
right? That's going to be our x variable. And then our y variable is going to be equal to our value. We got a plus at the end, which pipes that now into a geom line. And so this is just going to be a line, a basic line graph is what we're going to make here. And we have something, right? It's not animated, but like I said, it's built on top of ggplot. We have our date down here, our number of passengers on the y-axis, and uh, a, a graph going up, right? They're, they're getting more passengers over time, which is very nice. Very nice for them. Let's add some labels. Our x label, uh, we'll just put a capital for the date, make it look a little better. Our y variable is um, number of air passengers. <clears throat> and we can make a title. Um, I don't know. We'll call it L, uh, air passengers per month. All right. We'll add those labels. Boom shakalaka. It's, you know, it's looking like a graph. But now we want to make it animate. And the nice thing is, is it's not it's not hard to do. Uh, it's pretty uh, pretty easy, which is which is nice. We just have to add one line, um, and that is transition reveal, and then you put the variable that you want it to reveal by, and so we're revealing it by the date, right? And so we want to move along this x-axis, and we're we're revealing it by that. So we'll put date, <clears throat> and again. I can't spell. So there is no transition reveal, but a transition reveal. <laughs> and down here we can see it rendering. And so it takes a minute, it makes a GIF or a GIF, you know, what, whatever your, your fancy is there. Um, and uh, it makes it go. And so just like that, we have, we have something here, right? Um, again, this is not not quite perfect in my opinion, but the, you know that's looking pretty nice. If you want to call it a day here, you know that's that's good. <laughs> uh, but there are a few more things that we can add. Uh, the first thing I'll point out is that um, it looks a little janky, like it's kind of jumping up and down. It's not it's not super smooth. And so one one thing that you can do is we're actually going to save this. We'll just save it as P because that's nice and easy to type. Um, so we'll save it as P, and then we'll do an animate. And so we want to animate P, the number of frames that we're going to do. Um, well, up here we have 144 observations, right? So there's like 144 different points that they're going to uh, they put on the graph. So I'm going to say 144 frames. And then FPS, which if you're a video game player, you know, if you're a nerd, all right, you'll know FPS. Uh, we don't want it to go too fast because if our FPS is too fast, it's going to just shoot through it super quick because we only have 144 frames. Uh, so we'll just start with one and we'll look at that. I'm going to cancel out of that graph. And I haven't saved P yet, so we got to rerun this, save P as that variable. And then we will uh, give, give it the old animation. So again, this is going to be 144 frames at one frame per second. So for this, this would take like two and a half minutes to get through the graph, so that's not going to be that's not going to be very quick. But we'll we'll take a look. And uh, there it is. It's like watching paint dry. It's not it's not very exciting at this uh, at this speed. But you can see every frame it, it goes one frame a second, so it's adding one point every second far too slow so let's change that to uh, 10 FPS 10 frames per second so now it should get through the graph in 144 divided by 10 just like 14 14 seconds to get through the graph um, so this should be a little bit more reasonable All right, so this is looking a little bit more smooth than the one we had before, where the one before is pretty janky. Uh, this one, at least I think, uh, kind of smooths it out a little bit. And there you go. It's looking pretty nice. Uh, we can try it a little bit faster and just see what happens. We'll go 20 FPS. Hopefully you're having a good day. I hope you're enjoying this uh, you know, video.
All right, so that one's moving moving pretty quick, and that might be fine. I think the 10 FPS looks a little bit better. Um, if you want to save it into a GIF form, then you can just do anim save, and then you can just do whatever your file name you want to save it as, and then uh, what, what your graph is called. All right, so this is going to take P, and it's going to save it in GIF form. So I actually just screen capture mine here because I don't know, GIFs don't run well on Mac. I don't know. I don't know how to run a GIF on Mac. I don't know. I, I, I pulled it up and it was just a bunch of different, it was all the frames of it. So uh, I found it better to just, you know, look at the graph here. But if you want to save it, that is an option. Uh, just a couple other options that are, are kind of cool that you can try out is um, one, one thing that you can do is a view follow. Follow. And so what this is going to do is it's going to reveal the graph. Um, as it goes, if that makes sense. So you'll 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 see. And that is all right. Uh, kind of makes me look motion sick watching it. Um, so one one thing that you can do is uh, we can fix the y axis. So. Um, it's going to stay um, like the, the y-axis is going to start with the maximum height and then it'll reveal along the uh, along the x-axis as the dates come and th this is probably my favorite version of it um, just because it, it doesn't make it jump up and down quite so much and so there you go A beautiful graph very nice. Oh, one, one, one more thing. This uh, The size of this is fixed. So when you adjust it up and down, it, it doesn't really change. Um, so one, one thing that you can do is adjust your width and height. And I'll go with 800 here. Height is equal to 500. And so what this does is it makes it so that uh, you, you can change it. Um, to be a different size if you want it to. With that, as this loads, I'll leave it there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe, but you know, it's up to you. I hope you have a good day. I hope you're uh, enjoying whatever it is that you're doing with your uh, with your R life, you know. I hope it's, I hope it's real good. And uh, yeah, oh, that's, that, see, that's too wide. We'll go there. I hope you go out and crush it with these GG animates. I've been having a heck of a lot of fun with them. All right. You have just, you know, a swell day, and I appreciate you and everything that you do. Bye-bye. <laughs>